Hey guys, it's Zell and I'm thrilled to be back with another video. In this one, I had the amazing opportunity to meet some Filipino tourists who are based in Hong Kong and the US. They asked me to be their tour guide in Tokyo and of course, I couldn't be more excited. This was our first time meeting each other and I decided to start our tour at Hamamatsucho Station, conveniently located near their hotel. We met at 10 in the morning and we had breakfast together at Denny's just across the JR station. This tour was the Omakase tour which means that I, as a tour guide, can take them to the places that I recommend. I'm quite familiar with the Hamamatsucho area because I used to work here before. Our first stop was the Hamarikyu Gardens. Welcome to this beautiful garden. Since 1946, Hamarikyu Gardens have been open to the public, offering a delightful experience for all visitors. Sluice gates control the flow of seawater from Tokyo Bay into the central pond in the garden. You'll be delighted to know that the pond is home to a variety of marine species including sea bass and black mullet. So, while visiting, you may also enjoy observing these fascinating creatures. The gardens are well worth visiting for anyone who has an interest in Japanese history and nature. I initially planned to take the ferry from Hinode Port to Odaiba, which is why we walked instead of taking the Yurika Momin line. Unfortunately, the tickets had sold out and the next departure was more than an hour later. So we didn't want to waste time. We walked again, but this time, we were bound for Hinode Station to take the train to Odaiba. Yurika Momin Line is a fully automated driverless train in Tokyo that smoothly transports passengers from Shinbashi to Toyosu Station and vice versa. Yeah, this is Odaiba Illumination. The weather is so nice. It's not too cold and it's really sunny. That's Rainbow Bridge and I don't know if you can see the Tokyo Tower from here. Rainbow Bridge and the Tokyo Tower. After taking some photos with the Rainbow Bridge and Statue of Liberty, we headed to the famous Unicorn Gundam at Diversity Tokyo Plaza. We met another Filipino who is a resident of Taiwan and was visiting Tokyo for sightseeing. It is really nice to meet people who are friendly enough to take photos of you. While we were visiting, we had the opportunity to witness the Minato Ward Marathon. Our next stop was Asakusa. Starting from Daiba Station, we transferred trains to Shimbashi Station and took the Asakusa line. Usually, you'll need to transfer between trains due to the extensive network of train lines in Tokyo. You will just need to follow the Google map and read the signs. We reached Asakusa just in time before it became absolutely dark. We just passed by the very famous Sansoji Temple because it was challenging to take great photos with such large crowds. Some tourists go there very early in the morning to take great photos. We made a quick visit to the Sanrio Gift Gate on Orange Street to see if they would be interested in getting a souvenir. In my previous video, it was not yet completely dark when we were at Sumida River Walk. I think it is more beautiful at night. Look at these lights. These two friends, Ate Flor and Ate Bang, have maintained a strong friendship for a considerable period of time. We just found the perfect spot to take great photos with the Tokyo Sky Tree. We spent around 30 minutes here at Sumida Park figuring out how to take the best photos. At last, after a fulfilling day, we have arrived at our final destination for today's tour. It's the massive Tokyo Sky Tree. Before exploring, we decided to have ramen for dinner and we met these young and friendly Australians. Tokyo Sky Tree stands tall at a remarkable height of 634 meters, and its construction was successfully completed in a span of 1,325 days. 
The total number of stairs from the first floor up to the top is 2,523 stairs. There are countless exciting activities to enjoy at Tokyo Skytree, including a wide range of stores in Solomachi. There's also a fascinating planetarium, an impressive aquarium, and a captivating museum showcasing the rich Edo culture.